Hi, I'm John Feig, and I'm here to talk to you about reading, writing, updating, and deleting records in Health Connect. Let's start with writing data into Health Connect. Health Connect supports over 50 data types across six categories. It has support for different units, for example, kilometers and miles for length, and for volume, liters or ounces. Each record will need to specify time and zone offset. Data records include metadata. UID, which is a unique identifier in Health Connect, is used to interact with a specific record. Data origin is an auto-populated package name to specify where the data comes from. And client ID is for apps to specify their own IDs. Here's code for writing both sample and interval type records. Sample records, like height or weight, have a single time, whereas interval records have start and end times. Create a list and add your sample or interval entry as type record to that list. Then pass that to the Health Connect client and call the insert records method with your records list. Series records are expected to contain multiple data points or samples, each with their own timestamp within a single record, which will have a start and end time. Verify within the Health Connect app UI if the data is written to Health Connect. A few things to note when writing data into Health Connect. Ensure you aren't writing duplicate data. You can confirm what you've written within the Health Connect UI for your development testing. Consider at what cadence you want to write data. What will be the most useful for users and for other apps to consume? Balancing that against battery usage and storage space. Only write data that your app has generated, not data generated from other apps that you've read from Health Connect or data generated by another app that you've ingested in another way. Now that we've covered writing data, let's move on to reading. One way to read data from Health Connect is by time range. To do that, you'll create a read records request and indicate the record type and time range. Then pass it to the Health Connect client by calling the read records method. If there's data and you've got the appropriate permissions, you will get records that you can iterate through. Health Connect provides several different methods of requesting aggregate data statistical, count, cumulative, and duration. Statistical aggregation will compute the minimum, maximum, or average values. Here is an example of an aggregate request for min and max values for heart rate over a given period of time. Health Connect allows you to aggregate into buckets. There are two types of buckets that can be used. Duration, where each bucket is of a fixed length of time, for example, a minute or an hour. Period, where each bucket is of a conceptual length of time, for example, a week or a month. Health Connect returns a list of buckets. Note that this list is sparse, so where a bucket would contain no data, it is not present in a list. Make it clear to users where the data that has been read in is coming from. Use the source app's icon when possible. If the data is a Health Connect aggregation, then use the Health Connect icon. When reading data, you can decide if you'd like to read from explicitly defined sources by including a data origin filter in your read records request. At this point, your app should now be able to read data from Health Connect. Something to keep in mind is that reading complexity varies based on data types and app visualization. It is important to showcase the data source within the UI for user understanding. Highlighting new features or deeper insights due to Health Connect can help to increase user engagement. Whether you are reading or writing data, it's important to be able to handle update and deletion requests from Health Connect. In this section, we'll talk about how to do that. The Changes API helps to track changes from a specific point of time for a set of data types. For example, you want to know if users have updated or deleted any existing records outside your app so that you can update your database accordingly. The first step for checking for updates is to request a changes token, where you specify the data types that you're interested in tracking. Once you have your token, you can use the Health Connect client to request changes against that token. If any changes are returned, you can iterate through them and determine if it's an update or deletion. If your app is requesting to delete records that you've written to Health Connect, there are two basic ways of doing that. 
either by UID or time range. Luckily, both are fairly simple to request. Thanks for watching along with this video about reading, writing, updating, and deleting records in Health Connect. At this point, you should have enough to build a complete end-to-end -end integration. We also have a bonus video with some tips and tricks to help you along the way, so keep an eye out for that video. And remember to like and subscribe.